And with me is Kristen, who has been very much involved in putting together the data that, mm -hmm. that those queries are, are drawing on to That's generate right. answers. Yeah. So. Tell us a little bit about the work you've done. Well, our major data source for um, a, lot of the, a lot of what you see on Wolfram Alpha comes from the um, information that the information packets that we have in Mathematica in version 6 and 7. Um, there's element data, chemical data, isotope data, and some other internal stuff that actually wasn't um, part of uh, Mathematica, like minerals and ions and lots of new stuff and new calculations that have been added. So g give me an example if I... In let's say um, I don't know gold. Uh, what, what what kind of things could you uh, well, have in there? Well, for gold, it would tell you about um, it would tell you like atomic properties. It would tell you well. For, first off, it would give you information of, uh, about it in the periodic table. You know how many uh, valence electrons it might have, what its group is. Um, it would give you information about its um, ionization energy. It would give you material information such as specific heats, um, hardnesses, chemical information. You know names. Uh, identifiers and stuff like that. So that's a, that's a simple query, you know, just, just gold. Uh, we have information about chemicals. You could ask specifically for a property of a chemical or element or something. Now, I, I see uh, some children wandering around, and I, I, I think in, uh, in part of your time you actually are a teacher, is that right? That's correct. So um, how can you begin to see using Wolfram Alpha to help you as a teacher? Well, um, a lot of my, uh, a lot of the things that I try to do with Wolfram Alpha is to help me as a teacher, since I've been quite busy on the project. Um, a lot of it is to um, help me get the information that I need, so that when I'm testing students, I don't have to spend all of my time gathering the data. Uh, I use it also to help me, um, or to help my, to help uh, explain my points, and for my students to be able to visualize. Um, so now, I asked Stephen whether um, there's a danger that Wolfram Alpha might kind of make you lazy. Do you mm -hmm. think there's a danger that? Your, your children might, you know, say they're given an assignment on gold, they can type gold in and they've got a kind of essay. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, the, the information is definitely all aggregated there, so we'll save them some trips to the library. But I'm not concerned that people are going to get lazy because I think then the teachers are just going to be able to make the information, or be able to expect more from the students because they'll be spending less time gathering the information and more time actually thinking about it and applying it. So is your job now finished now that uh, Wolfram Alpha is actually available? Certainly, certainly not. There's so much information out there and I think that as we get more information and provide more tools for people out there to use, researchers will be doing more work with it and they'll be creating more data and discovering more, thus creating more work for us.